Are you struggling with the CPA exam because your course failed to fit your learning style? I'm Darius Clark of I-75 CPA Review, where the right teacher makes all the difference. All right, let's look at general controls in an IT system. When you think of an IT department in a company, you think of building applications or maybe purchasing applications, support delivery of IT services, manage the database, manage the networks, when it comes to general controls in an IT system, three branches, applications development, system programming and maintenance, and computer operations. Since they're essentially on three different teams, we're gonna put applications development in a yellow shirt, system programming and maintenance in red, and computer operations in blue. Even though they all work in the same IT department, the segregation of duties between these three branches, very important. If someone's wearing a yellow shirt, they should not be on the red team or the blue team, and vice versa. Anyone on the computer operations team should not be working with system programming or applications development. We're gonna start with the applications development. We'll see who we expect to find on that team, what their roles are, and then we'll move on to system programming and maintenance, and then computer operations. All right, we're starting with applications development. What's their role and who's on the team? Applications development has as a primary responsibility, safeguard the applications that are being developed. The people on the yellow team will create the application, maintain it, they'll code it in a test environment rather than a live environment so that the existing applications are not corrupted while the new application is being developed. And once the new application program is created and tested and approved, once it's ready to go live, it's moved from the test environment to a live environment. And that's the role of who? That's the role of the systems analyst and the application programmers. The application programmers are the ones writing the new application. They're the ones that are doing the coding in the test environment, they're coming up with this new computer system so that the company can upgrade its existing system that's already been designed by the systems analyst. So the systems analyst, the application programmers, they're wearing yellow shirts. They know coding very well. Another term for application programmer is software engineer or computer programmer. And that's really all who's on this team the application programmers, and the systems analyst. The systems analyst will talk to end users about what the end user's needs are for any new application and how to meet those needs. In this way, the systems analyst is a bridge between the application programmer who's gonna write the code and the end user, and the end user would be stuck with the results if they don't talk to the systems analyst and get their needs out in the open, up front, with the systems analyst. So the systems analyst is something of a people person, whereas the application programmers don't have to be because all they're gonna be doing is writing the code. But the systems analyst will talk to the end users about what the expectations are with this new system. While we're still on the yellow team, the systems analyst, if it's an internally developed system, if it's a program built from scratch, the systems analyst designs the overall application system and determines the type of network needed to support it. If the application program is purchased from a vendor, then the systems analyst role is a little different. Then the systems analyst will install the purchased application and make sure that the new system can talk to the existing system and the analyst can provide training to the end users. So application programmer and systems analyst, they're wearing the yellow shirt because they're in this part of IT, what's known as applications development. Computer programmer, we said, is also known as an application programmer or software engineer or software developer. They're the one writing or maintaining the program. They're coding, they're testing. If we're designing our own application program, it's this application programmer who's responsible for ensuring that it keeps working as it should and if we need to make changes or additions to the software, it's the application programmer that would code and handle that once the changes have been approved. All right, let's try this question. Application programmers and system analysts serve under which function of IT governance? A, system programming and maintenance? No. 
B, applications development. Yes, not computer operations. The answer is B, application programmers and systems analysts. They are on the applications development team. We're calling them the yellow team. If you remember, there's three teams, applications development, system programming and maintenance, and computer operations. Now we're gonna talk about the red team, system programming and maintenance. All right, systems administration and system programming. This department maintains the operating system, the computing infrastructure and computer hardware, and they grant access to system resources. There should be no overlap between the two teams. This systems administration and systems programming, they're not coming up with new computer applications for the company. Their roles include maintaining the operating system and related hardware, the operating system. That means if there's new releases like Windows 11, they would maintain that. They would make sure everyone's off the system. They would come in and they would patch and update the new Windows 11. And also new hardware updates like driver updates, they would be in charge of installing. Because the role of a system programmer requires that they be in direct contact with the production programs and data, it's imperative that they do not have access to information about the application programs. So these guys on the red team should not know how the application programs run. They maintain the operating system. They do not come up with the new application system. All right, how does the system programmer and application programmer fit into an IT governance hierarchy? Letter A, application programmer works under the direction of the system programmer. No, they're on two different teams. B, application programmer works under the direction of the system analyst. Yes, the application programmer, the software engineer, works under the direction of the system analyst. The system analyst is the boss over there on the yellow team. And the application programmers work for the systems analyst. That's the yellow team. Look at C. System programmer works under the direction of the system analyst. No. D. System programmer works under the direct supervision of the application programmer. No. B is the correct answer. Who else is wearing a red shirt? System administrators, like the database administrator, the network administrator, the web administrator. They're each responsible for management activities associated with the systems that they control. They each grant access to their system resources, usually with usernames and passwords. So access is what these red shirts do. They grant access because they're system administration. Because they're granting access, they should not be permitted to participate directly in these system operations. So when we get to the third department, which is computer operations, none of these system administrators should be there. But while we're here, the security administrator ensures that all components of the system are secure from threats. Network managers ensure that all applicable devices link to the organization's networks and that the networks operate securely. The web administrator operates and maintains the web server. The help desk personnel answer helpline calls and emails, try to resolve user problems. Database administrator is a systems administrator that maintains and supports the database software. So if Microsoft just issued an update, that would be the database administrator's job to make sure that everybody's off the system so that they can install the update. And for the CPA exam, all you need is a basic understanding of who's on what team. For example, which of the following roles is not consistent with system programming and maintenance? Basically, they're asking who's not wearing a red shirt. Web administrator is, help desk is, network administrator is wearing a red shirt, but the systems analyst, that's a yellow shirt job. They're in applications development. So we'll go with letter D. Which of the following job titles is not consistent with applications development? So now they're asking, who's not wearing a yellow shirt? Computer programmer, yep, that's application programmer. Software engineer, same thing. Applications programmer, same thing. A, B, and C are really describing the same role. But system programmer, that's a red shirt. When you see system programmer, think operating system. When you see computer programmer, think applications programmer. So who's not in applications development here? System programmer. 
Letter D is correct. The system programmer only works on the operating system and should not be involved in creating new applications that run on the operating system. All right, which of the following correctly explains the difference between the role of the application programmer and the role of the system programmer? A, the application programmer codes and tests the new application under the supervision of the system programmer, no. B, the system programmer codes and tests the new application under the supervision of the systems analyst, no. C, the system programmer codes and tests the new application, no. D, the application programmer codes and tests the new application under the supervision of the system analyst, yes. Letter D is correct. The system programmer should not be allowed access to new applications, only to operating system updates and hardware configurations. All right, we looked at applications development, system programming and maintenance. Now it's on to computer operations. What do computer operations do and who's on the blue team? IT controls are one of the most important topics in all of BEC. And if you found this video helpful, if it fits your learning style, Go to cpaexamtutoring.com and get yourself on I-75, where the right teacher makes all the difference.